could be lagging. And how is it looking now? You need to you need to fix it or shit. <sighs> yeah, this keeps lagging, but I don't know how. See what happens. Disclaimer, never played a Valkyria game before. A mysterious ore that emits an azure glow. It contains a magical energy known as mana. Its discovery brought prosperity to the masses, thanks to a select few who could wield its power through alchemy. In due time, the mana engine, an alchemic device that uses ragnite as fuel, was invented in Europa. The processing of mana itself became an industry, allowing the masses to access alchemy and sparking a revolution. Let me know if it lags at all. This azure revolution transformed Europa. As the demand for Ragnite grew, so too did the conflict between countries. Thus began the Age of Imperialism, in which countries would expand their borders through aggressive military action. The revolution transformed mankind's history into one of endless war over the azure mineral. God. 
could have slept better last night. The Kingdom of Jutland, September 15th, 1954, EC. On this day 100 years ago, the European Liberation War that shook the country came to an end. Elsinore, the capital of Jutland, is lively in celebration for the centennial anniversary of the country's freedom. Of course, now I'm going to start falling asleep. Well, I can't read the fu half the fucking subtitles. Fix your shit, Xbox. <clears throat> Meanwhile, in a grove far away from the bustling city, two people from the Institute of Alchemy stand before a grave. I'd like to know the truth, Professor. The truth? What of? I've been researching the Liberation War for a long time. And after going through the records, I've begun to have some doubts. Like, did the traitors really commit treason? The Elsinore trials have ruled it as such. The history books paint a similar picture, too. I've seen the court records written by Lord Donovan Lindegard. The five traitors conspired to thrust Jutland into war for self-interest. They incited the citizenry to rise up, leading to the death of thousands. But is it even possible to start a war through personal greed alone? That conflict is now referred to as the Liberation War. The name speaks for itself. Doesn't the country as we know it exist exactly because they rose to action? Professor, you come from a line of instructors that spans five generations, all of whom taught at the Institute. And the time of your great-great-grandmother's tenure is of particular interest. I've heard that Princess Ophelia and the leader of the traitors, Amlet Gronkare, were classmates and her pupils. Have you heard anything from your family about that period? How did the traitors feel? What did they think? Or why did they lead this country down the path of war? If there's some hidden truth, we should share it with the world. I've looked through a lot of historical documents and research papers regarding the traitors. I've reviewed historical facts and researched them time and again. And I've concluded that there's an important fact that remains hidden about the traitors. And that would be? I haven't gotten that far yet. Still, I don't believe that the traitors started a war for selfish reasons. Jutland won the war and underwent a massive growth. The fact that they laid the foundation for it should be ample reason why we shouldn't think of them as criminals. If I may be so bold, I even think the honor of those five should be restored. That is quite a bold notion. <laughs> There's no need to restore their honor. Then do you accept the contents of that trial, Professor? They didn't want to restore their honor. They wanted to watch over this area. That was their only request. Huh? It was for that reason they accepted the brand of traitor and the penalty of death that accompanied it. Their only wish was for all five of them to rest here in this land. Still, the people couldn't forgive them. But it's clear that their request has been granted. Why is that? It was done out of love. A complex one at that. 
You have heard something then, haven't you? Please, you have to tell me, Professor. Very well. <laughs> what I'm about to discuss, as you've surmised, this is a truth that's been passed down by my family, starting with my great-great-grandmother. Listen to it in its entirety, and then decide for yourself if this is a tale that should be shared with the world. It's an interesting look this game has. Kind of that on-canvas look. And I'm probably tired because I just ate. So I'd probably explain that. October 4th, 1853, E.C. The region of Molda, where we stand now, became the first battleground in the war between Jutland and Ruse. Jutland's anti-Valkyria squad challenged the Rusi Empire. They were known as the Vanergind, and their commanding officer, Amlet Gronkare was one of the traitors. Hey, Helena, that racket you've been making is getting on my nerves. <laughs> Looks like we've got a tough one over here. I expect so great things from you, Private Anderson. You can count on me. I, I must be excited too. That's why I can't stop trembling. You're just scared. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> you ought to be following my example, little boy Bloom. I am the very paragon of vitality, vivacity, and virility. Ugh, I'm surrounded by children. War's about to break out and you act as if you don't have a care in the world. Excuse me, Miss Bridget. Surely you're not including me with the rest of this ragtag rabble. <laughs> you're the brattiest one here, Isaac. You're quiet as always, Tilda. You're pretty calm yourself, Bridget, even though the enemy's practically within reach. That I am. Strangely so. Once the battle starts, though, who knows what'll happen. I've been waiting for the day to take revenge on the Empire. I'll give no quarter. <laughs> well, we have been pushed around a lot by the Rucks. Everyone has some grudge against them, big or small. The old lady down the street from us died the other day. They couldn't find any medicine for her in time. She was so nice. <laughs> God, this is unacceptable. <laughs> As if we'll let an economic blockade kill us. Right. We're gonna die. We'll go out with a bang. Just so. Twas to save my people from such a regrettable fate, so far as I am able, that I have taken up the sword alongside you. We must break free from the clutches of imperialism and put an end to this unjustly imposed embargo. Amlet Gronkare. Yes? I must say, I truly am glad to have joined this unit, for it has attuned me more closely to the will of my people. Lieutenant Vilfor. Yes, sir. Have the princess stand down. Beg pardon? I still have matters to discuss with you. I don't. Must you always speak so obstinately, even to your... Come, Your Highness. Godot! 
Princess, when your commanding officer says stand down, you stand down. You're not students anymore. Helena! Aw, oh, come on! Fifi's just trying her bestest, you know? You always take the princess's side, Sarah. Why don't you become her handmaiden? How rude! What's with the attitude? Doesn't seem like they've bolstered their numbers nearly as much as the report indicated. Even if they had, we have our orders. Of course. Watch over the princess. Understood. Sorry for the delay, Lieutenant Gronkair. It started. <sighs> Sir, His Majesty decreed at 0752 to all citizens of Jutland the annulment of our alliance with the Ruzi Empire. He has declared we're entering a state of war against them. Anti-Valkyria Squad, prepare to commence operation. Our objective is to seize the outpost and take back our land from the Empire. Everyone, please, lend me your ears. This is not just a battle, but the dawn of a war for our people's independence. May the blood of our own go unshed. And may we bring victory to Jutland, our country and home. Jutland back then was in a state of poverty. The Ruzi Empire, who is in a long-standing alliance with our country, approached the other major powers of the world. Together, they launched a year-long economic embargo, which would later be known as the BRFH Blockade. BRFH. Brenland, Ruse, Franck, Hobstria. Those four powerful empires had ceased all trade and commerce with our country. With the blockade in place, the livelihood of the Jewish populace was strained by a lack of resources. Jutland went to war under those circumstances. Okay, then. Let's go. I'm going to be trying to guess every one of these characters, their voice actor. I play a JRPG so infrequently. It's always exciting to hear uh, these actors come back. I already recognized one, and it's hilarious. I can't fucking read these subtitles. God damn it. Let's just rest back on the bed. All right. While they're still what? I beg you, Xbox, please change your layout. While they're still confused, let's go. Okay. A for melee attack. Why to access the battle palette. Charge up the action gauge to max to use basic attacks or to access the battle palette. The action gauge refills over time. Press X to guard and B to evade. These moves avoid attacks without draining the action gauge. Let's do this! There we go. Proper. 
Display resolution. Interesting. Incoming! Watch it! Incoming! Watch it! Yeah, and we'll have higher voices. I mean, yeah, she probably would be doing a voice in this. But just like playing things like Nier or Persona 5 or just any Japanese game. Just catching these voice actors in your ear. They do such a good job. <laughs> Alright, uh... That should do for now until I figure out what kind of combat I'm going up against. I don't, I don't know anything about this. I'm not drunk. No match for us. Begin the lesson. Let's end this. This guy sounds like right. a character for Persona 5. I could be wrong, but you know, I'm not betting money on this. All right, bumper for a cover. Hmm. And th this is what made me buy Valkyria Chronicles. I still haven't played it. It's been on my computer forever. But it's like this combat seems so interesting. That's always my biggest problem with JRPGs is the combat. They seem to be a little more action oriented. Let's begin the lesson. The battle palette accesses alchemic spells, secondary weapons, and any equipped items. Spells are cast using RP, Ragnite points, and range from powerful attacks to healing support. Secondary weapons do not use RP, but each gun or grenade only has a limited amount of ammunition. Unlike spells and secondary weapons, items are taken from the whole squad's shared inventory. Time stops while the battle palette is open so actions can safely can be safely selected in combat. Alicia slashed at not. Oh, okay, it's describing shit to me. And I got nine shots for that. Oh, Christ. I thought we just put the battle pallet away. I swear I'm not drunk. Panic and surprise. Spells and secondary weapons may trigger targets to feel emotions like panic or surprise. Surprise immobilizes targets while lowering their defenses. Panic weakens their abilities. Check a spell or secondary weapon's capabilities to see which emotions it can trigger in targets. Defeating an enemy commander may also cause their subordinates to panic, along with other emotions that can be triggered situationally. Emotions can also be triggered in allies, so act accordingly if an ally is panicked or surprised. For example, avoid battles until they calm down. Stay alert! Itch. Let's see here. So how do I can I like aim that from here or do I click the button? Okay, I click the button then I aim it. Get lost! There we go. Who's next? Good. Let's go all out! Training. There we go. Well, I'm not Who's next? next? Yeah, that
patatas. Finally, they bring out the big guns. The enemy forces are slow to react. I wonder if they're still half asleep. Private Helena Anderson, ready for action. Take it down. Okay. Alchemic armaments, aka tanks, are the Empire's greatest weapons. Their offensive and defensive advantages over infantry make them dangerous. Tanks, however, have destructible parts. Destroying these parts can knock a tank down or render certain types of attacks inoperable. Weakening a tank by first destroying its parts is a wise alternative to aiming for the body. Target a part by pressing RT to lock on. Switch lock on targets with the right stick. Light tanks can be knocked down by targeting its legs and then destroying those parts. Let's begin the right. Let's go all out. All right. Who's next? God damn it. Need more training. That all you got? That was a little funky. Our tank! It's out of commission! Where the hell are they coming from? So they've finally taken the bait. <laughs> Runner, send word to the motherland. Everything's proceeding according to His Imperial Majesty's design. There are several opinions about how the war started. One theory is that a desperate Jutland finally decided to mobilize, similar to a cornered animal. Another, that Jutland preemptively attacked due to intel that the Ruzi Empire was launching an armed invasion. Please do not worry for my sake. Am I not a soldier too? I can see to my own safety. Princess Ophelia, how audaciously admirable. But uh, Phoebe, you're still royalty, aren't ya? No princess left behind, says I, and no soldier too. Guarding your highness is an order from our commanding officer. You can leave your protection to us. Nay, surely that would ill serve us all. It's over. You mean... he's dead? Hey, uh... you all right there? I'm still so inexperienced. But I can survive. Nay, I must. For my country, I will. Beefy! Your Highness, wait! Name I'll never get used to. The time is time back, Your Highness. I, I'm quite all right. I can still fight. Get out of my way! All right, so let's take a look at some of these attacks. This uses RP. Okay. Hmm. We might as well have some fun with this, right? In the name of 
Wrong button. I am sworn to the front. <laughs> Who's next? Rest in peace. Break through. The fruits of our labor. Yes. Okay. Good job, guy. <sighs> Can you stand? Princess. Can you stand? Uh, yes. There a problem, Godot? No. The princess just won her first fight, is all. You okay there, Fifi? You look even paler than usual. But of course. She's killed a man with her own two hands. Such is the way of war. However, if you intend to follow us further, you must grow inured to death. A friend as well as foe. You really need to learn how to read the mood. Still, what you're saying is correct. For once. Your Highness, it's wonderful that you volunteered for your country. But if I may be frank, you're a liability. No matter how compatible you are with Ragnite, that has no bearing on your qualifications to be a soldier in the field. At this rate, someone will die protecting you. <clears throat> Everyone, I apologize for this disturbance. I'm quite all right now. I'm fine. Please forgive my lapse in judgment. Rest assured, it will be my last. Fifi. Amlet. I defer to your authority. Please grant me leave to continue fulfilling my soldierly duties. You got this? Yes, sir. Then prove it. That work for the rest of you? We've taken care of most of their monotech, so let's finish this. Even my king father has never experienced the likes of this. And this is true. I am the princess. I am a soldier. Defender of the people, protector of the realm. All right. Continuously panicking or surprising a target triggers emotions like fear or confusion. Fear and confusion have a stronger effect on the target, and can also render them unable to act. What do we do? We can do this! Alright, shakes the area attacking enemies in front, stronger versus knockdown targets. What are you looking at? Alright, I took the to Sorry. lose. There we go. Get lost! Boom, baby. Who's next? This is going well! Who's next? Who's next? Huh. Yeah. 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 
lose. Over Who's and next? done. I like having direct control like this. Over and done. I did it, Helena! Oh god, Mecha Godzilla. Or chicken. Trap. Thing. That's the enemy? What a nightmare. To think my unit's been routed by such paltry numbers. They don't even amount to a single platoon. Looks like something out of a bad dream. To think such heavy mono weaponry exists. The bigger they are, the harder they fall, right? Right? I'll take it on. Bring it! Amlet! Balthus! Target the tank and take it down! He looks like the protagonist from uh, Persona 5. <laughs> this is an alternate universe, I guess. I'm sure many opportunities will present themselves. Smart enough to do the right thing. Look what I can do. I got this ah! I'm not a genius in that. Taste my blade. Keep an eye on them. Don't Constant vigilance. And if I'm not going to get it, I'll keep on. Okay. Here we go. This is going well. Come 
yet you know <laughs> do I get to hear a lot of that in this game I hope so uh... we did it <laughs> it was a smashing success well done me Don't bother. The rear guard will take care of it. Or we can just True. shoot him. Our mission is to gain control of the area. Suffice it to say, we've accomplished just that. Commander! What just happened? The hell's he doing now? First Sergeant Ramadal, you're in command. I'm going after him. I am coming with you. Damn it all! His Majesty will never forgive me for this humiliation! Y your Excellency! The enemy! Oh, the Any idea what you're doing? You have brought the wrath of the entire Ruzi Empire upon you! Where's Maria? What? I know exactly what I'm doing. You're Balthus Grevenberg, one of Ruse's four Grand Generals. 
We knew you'd be here. It's why we planned this op. To kill you. Me? Ha! <laughs> well, I do feel honored. But if you kill me now, your last chance at brokering a peace dies with me. Or... Do you really plan to take my life, even if it drags your whole country into war? Have you... lost your mind? I won't ask you again. Where is Miss Maria? Ten years ago. You and your Emperor came here, to Molda. I know you took her. You took her? And you... <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Are you serious? All this over one woman? Do you realize just how many people are going to die because of you? Ah, but you do know, don't you? You're a piece of work. You're completely insane. Fuck this guy. You don't even remember. <sighs> That's right. You wanted to know about your little wench. Maria. Maria, huh? If I recall, one of my mistresses. She was a real nympho, that one. She was a hell of a slut. That's fine. It doesn't matter anyhow. I remember. I'll never forget what you rocks did to us. Language. Jeez. What were you just talking about? Oh, look who's here. That was their commander. Our mission was to capture the base. We had already won. Yet you killed this man. In cold blood. He was a Grand General, yes, but by what right did you take his life? Answer me, Amlet Gronkhair. Huh? Amlet! Get over some things. Good work, Am. This main protagonist just looks exactly like Persona 5 main antagonist. It's like, give that guy, give Persona 5 dude a few years and put him in this world, and bam. It's like the exact same guy. Oh, man. The Phantom Thief of Hearts has lost it. <laughs> Confirm it once <laughs> more. Is it true that Jutland has attacked? Yes, Your Excellency. <laughs> Wonderful. We can finally deal with the Jutes as we please. And Balthus. He was preparing to engage the enemy when we left. I believe we should get more information soon. Your Majesty, forgive my intrusion, sire. I got you. 
if it isn't the envoy. Hail, Emperor Claudius, and well met. I, Lord Donovan Lindegard of Jutland, hope to find you in good health. What is it? You seem in great haste. M moments ago, I received grave tidings. The alliance between our nations has been severed by a declaration of war. We already have knowledge of this news. Indeed? As expected of His Majesty. Our Empire's treasured outpost was attacked. Can it be? That once contested land was a symbol of peace. Correct. We shall, therefore, answer the kingdom in kind. Words can't convey my regret. As a diplomat, my purpose is to build a bridge between our countries. A bridge now burnt. My labors to subdue talk of war, so that not a drop of Judish blood must spill. One foolish act brings it all to naught. Since it has come to this, I will return at once and put an end to this wretched war. Your path shall be a harrowing one. Be gone. Thank you for your leave, sire. Now I must hurry back home. Farewell. We now at last have cause to strike at Jutland. Our forces await your order, sire. Peter Cushing. It is reported that the news of Balthus's death reached the Empire after Lord Lindegard returned to his country. Ten o'clock. It's early. I'm so damn tired. Extra! Extra! Read all about it! News that the country had reclaimed territory brought joy to the normally quiet lives of its citizens. However, this uplifting atmosphere and the events that led to the war were carefully constructed by the five traitors. This really makes me want to play some Attack on Titan. That game is fun! Yo! Look who's here! Today's MVP! <laughs> Just like old times. AM? Yeah. Hasn't changed a bit. Well, shall we begin? Ryuji. <laughs> it's good to be back in our palace. To today's victory. Cheers! Cheers. Delish. Nothing like good wine and great company. Just like I keep telling you guys, Lady Luck is on our side. I was wrong, Am. Like you and Saul said, war's our best bet. The public supports the war, and the opposing factions are being pushed back. Things have been set into motion. Right. No stopping now. Balthus didn't remember what he did to us. What? Hey, you're joking, right? After the shit he pulled? 
That can't be. He killed so many people. How could anyone forget so much bloodshed? It simply shows that a small incident like that was an everyday occurrence for them. Whoa, whoa, the hell you mean small incident? Still, we've accomplished one part of our revenge. There is something that bothers me though, Am. What's that? One squad member in the Princess showed up, didn't they? After you killed Balthus? Seriously? Yeah. So they saw you? It's nothing to worry about. They saw me kill an enemy general, nothing more. And I guess that's fine. Keep an eye on them, just in case. Sure. Anyway, that's one down, four to go. Let's make full use of the coming winter for this war. We'll advance on Ruse's capital and take revenge on the Emperor. Maria should be with him. And that's why we need to save her. Hell yeah! I can't wait to see her again. By the way, Amlet, have you heard already? What about? Your rank. You're being promoted to captain. First Lieutenant Amlet Gronkhair, in light of your faithful service, I hereby promote you to the rank of Captain. Your Majesty. You also have my gratitude for bringing my daughter safely home. Prithee, was she a burden to the operation? No, sire. Princess Ophelia showed great bravery on the battlefield. Oh, is that so? Good. Very good. Loyal subjects. You have served your country well. That province once belonged to the kingdom. Reclaiming it is a benefit to us all and a change for the better. There may be hard times ahead, but I have hope that our nation will continue to progress forward. Warriors of Vanergand, keep the light of Jutland bright! Father, I wish to say something as well. My beloved people of Jutland, for the first time in my life, my metal was tempered in the flames of battle. It was an experience I can scarcely put into words. Only by reminding myself of why we fought did I survive. Twas for you that my countrymen achieved this victory. My eyes have been opened to the horrors of war. But we have languished under the Emperor's embargo for far too long. No longer could I stand idly by watching our kingdom lapse deeper into exhausting destitution. Thus, I chose to act and put myself in the front lines. I will continue to fight for Jutland, my beloved country. But for that to happen, we need the help of our military. Our parliament uniting the people. Our proletariat supporting the industry. Our press giving voice to the populace. And all the citizens of the nation working together till the end of the war and the prosperity of Jutland. I will keep fighting at the vanguard, dreaming of that day. Nice speech, Princess. That's easier dreamt than done. Yes but her presence alone will help sway the public in favor of the war. Your Highness. Godot? Why, look who it is. Good day to you. Of course you're here. My, aren't you saucy? I am the princess's lady-in-waiting, after all. Hmm. <laughs> Is something the matter, Godot? Princess, might I have a word with you? In private. I'd advise against that, milady. He may be my older brother, but to hold privy council alone with a man? 
Oh, the scandal. Please, Miss Ophelia. Excuse us, Miranda. Oh, you don't need to apologize to me. This would-be Romeo is the one overstepping his bounds. Besides, I'm only pulling his leg. Just go. My time is very limited. Yes, yes. <clears throat> Princess, about Amlet. Did you learn something? Not a great deal, I'm afraid. All I could learn about his life before the Institute is that his adopted parents passed away. Nothing more. He has no past. What do you suppose that means? When he struck down Balthus, he said, I'll never forget what you rucks did to us. He's hiding something. Of this I am certain. And I fear whatever that may be will betray us all. I'm sure further investigation will yield the truth. I'll continue looking into him. Good day, Princess. Amlet. Who are you, really? Oh, it's too much. <laughs> I just can't not make comparisons and see things that aren't really there. Bring you news of weal or woe? Brenlin's unit has been decimated. Everything is as you have commanded. Good. On to the next step, Reaper. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Save. <sighs> I don't want to have to sit through all that. God forbid something happen. Oh, I should have taken this opportunity to step away and put my sheets in the dryer. Come the next opportunity. Next is Ipsaria. The Ragnite capital of the world. Sounds like fun, yeah? Yeah. Ipsaria was once the leading country in Ragnite production for Europa. Originally, Ruse was lacking in both natural resources and national power, not unlike Jutland. But after seizing Ipsaria, Ruse exploited those resources to become a global power while toying with the existing ones. In a manner of speaking, Ipsaria is the heart of the Ruzi Empire. We will have Jutland take it. Our presently destitute country should be rejuvenated by gaining control of the Ragnite. Which in turn means weakening Ruse. <laughs> you magnificent bastard. Look who's talking. Have you seen your suit? <laughs> Once we get our hands on all that Ragnite, my company's net worth is gonna skyrocket. You wouldn't be the only one to profit. If current issues like inflation or supply shortages are resolved, naturally... The people of Jutland will see the war as a success, just like we want. <clears throat> Violet, are any Grand Generals stationed in Ipsaria? No. And how do the people of Ipsaria feel about Ruse's occupation? To hear my business partners tell it, they don't think too kindly of their Imperial occupiers. After Ruse invaded and took control, the Emperor didn't waste any time cleaning house. Executed the entire royal family along with any loyalists. That sounds like something Claudius would do. Still, the effect was instantaneous. There are hardly any dissenting opinions against Ruse there since they fear military oppression. Doesn't mean their dissatisfaction isn't simmering under the surface. Guess that's where I come in. Got it. We'll distribute an anonymous flyer. 
a manifesto from resistance forces trying to shed a light on Ruse's crimes and restore honor to their late king. Straight up sedition, and I thought I was the bastard here. I take that as a compliment. Stir up Ipsaria and lay the groundwork, making them more accepting of Jutland. It's a solid idea. You can leave the distribution of the flyers to me. Please continue the operation within Jutland as well. More rabble-rousing? We already threw fuel on that fire. We'll do it as much as we can. A war effort's only as strong as the citizens who support it. Precisely. Amlet, make sure to pay attention to the citizens when you walk around town. We can gauge public opinion toward the war by their attitude toward the commander of the elite unit. And again, be amicable. That's rich, coming from you. Got it. Good. That concludes today's agenda. Well then, meeting adjourned. It's about to get real busy around here. I hope so. Beautiful sunset. We can't help but come here, can we? <laughs> this used to be our favorite spot. Yeah. I have an idea, Am. What do you say we go grab a drink afterward? <laughs> I'd rather just get back to headquarters. Oh, come on. A few rounds wouldn't hurt. We don't need anyone getting suspicious of me. Besides, I need to put together a plan to free Epsaria. <laughs> What an annoyingly flawless response. Well, come join me next time. We haven't gone drinking in a while with just the two of us. Even you need to unwind at some point. Sure. I'll hold you to it. You just gave me your word. You're a rare breed of man, Am. The kind that doesn't pass out when they go drinking with me. <laughs> I won't let you get away so easily. <laughs> well then. I'll see you around. Let's go grab some shrimp and walk along the beach. <laughs> oh my god. All right, everyone. Let's head back home. Good. I gotta stream this earlier in the day. <clears throat> How far did we get? Reflect on the true history of the Liberation War by speaking to Professor Richel? Rochelle? We'll go with that. Rochelle. Laudra. Move the left stick to select from the menu. To resume the tale, press A while selecting her. It's a letter. Let's read it. A fragment was added to the notebook. The fragment Declaration of War was added to the history book. The glossary was updated. Tell you what, I'm gonna throw my clothes in the dryer.
And I'm back. Resume the story. Archives of the Revolution. Compendium. Um, notebook. More stories. Oh, we just resume the current one. This is a true story. I can understand that soldiers die during war. However, according to your story, Professor, Amlet the traitor went out of his way to kill one of the Empire's grand generals. Why did he go to such lengths? There's a reason behind his actions, as well as why this grave was built as the traitors had requested. It could all be seen through the actions of the princess after she had witnessed him kill the Grand General. Why don't we catch our breath? Nay, I will carry on. Shield bearers have sturdy defenses, so you cannot deal much damage to them head on. However, they cannot block attacks from behind, so try to get behind them as often as possible. Additionally, you can break their guard by dealing enough damage, and they are also vulnerable while attacking. Commencing operation! You mustn't push yourself too hard. Our next operation approaches. I must prove myself by then. Damn it, what character do you think? During our like? first mission, I was not but a burden. I wish for my mind to be as well honed as this blade. Only then will my soul know peace. Are you referring to the soldier you slayed? My dreams have been haunted by that moment. <clears throat> that, however, is because I knew so little of combat. One who mourns the death of an enemy has no place in war. Because I have declared to my people that I will continue to stand at the front lines, I cannot allow my heart to falter. They say to pity a starving, dying animal is to show great empathy. <sighs> but to show great empathy means to put yourself at risk. Wild animals do not worry for other wild animals. To them, Life is the never-ending struggle to survive, to find food. It's the same for us on the battlefield. There's no room for empathy. Tis a harsh world we live in. Indeed it is. From the palace terrace, everything looks black and white. That's why you picked up the sword, your highness. Because you have a responsibility, both as a citizen and as royalty. Just so. I wouldn't want you to lose your emotional investment in all this. Nor would I. Yet that is precisely why I worry about Anlet. I've pored over countless records, but there is nothing on him prior to his adoption. The lack of information on him is... 
highly unusual. Did he share anything with you during your time at the Institute? Not at all. He never was the type to talk about his past. Huh. Perhaps I will ask the professor. Professor? Our former teacher. I am certain she would... Your Highness! Finally, I found you. Don't you know how troublesome it is when you go out without telling me where? She needed a quiet place to practice her swordsmanship. Can't get any training done with you bothering her. Had we told you, you would just follow along and pester us here. Like you're doing now. Oh, hush. <sighs> now, now, milady. Let's return to the palace. I'll train you myself, if you please. I've wielded a sword against my nagging brother many a time, so I'm confident in my skills. In fact, I'm positive your training would go better with me. Absolutely not. You never hold back. Or something to happen to the princess. I never held back against you because you're my brother. If that wasn't obvious, it's no wonder you can't find love. Despite sharing some of my good looks. <laughs> you two are thick as thieves as always. Is that how it seems? Indeed. I already envied your kinship. But the bond you both share really is something special. Huh. What kind of sibling would you wish for, Princess? A kind and caring big sister? Or a rambunctious little brother? Let me see. Either way, I certainly would be content. But if I had to choose, I'd prefer an elder brother. One on whom I could always rely. Someone like Godot, for instance. You are too kind, Princess. Oh, is that... Are you blushing? We should return to headquarters. It's nearly time to discuss our next operation. Already? I was so engaged in our practice, I suppose I lost track of the hour. Let us go then. Good day to you, Miranda. It's a very handsome coat. <laughs> Guess my big brother's got a soft spot after all. Ready for that when it just drops me here. Freaking lost. Okay. Resume the fucking story. Keep rolling. This is a true story. Tomorrow. Tuesday? Yes. Even the young individuals who would later be branded as traitors each had a place to call their home. Freet Erickson was a columnist who earned his acclaim by often contributing to famous newspapers. His provocative pieces stimulated patriotism in people and led the citizenry of Jutland toward jingoistic tendencies. Basil Sabanchi inherited his adoptive father's company and factory. Through hard work, he solidified his position in the ragnite industry and used his resources to support Jutland's forces.
Definitely need to play this earlier. Violet Sand was in military intelligence, although no detailed records of her remain. She had infiltrated and gathered intel on not only the Ruzi Empire, but various other world powers all by herself. The facts surrounding her only came to light in recent years due to more in-depth investigation and research techniques. Tits McGee. Solomon Collenberg, a prominent member of Jutland's parliament, was said to be the brains behind the traitors. A capable and elegant man from an affluent family, his reputation was renowned in political and social circles. He thrust himself into politics, suppressed the non-radical factions of parliament, and allowed the war to continue. I am thinking I might actually do some, play some more of this, but then swap to something else, something a little more exciting, let's say, and then I'll pick this up tomorrow, earlier in the day, when I'm not falling asleep. Amlet Gronkir's facade is well documented through his victorious achievements during the war. The young hero who led the anti-Valkyria squad. Without him, the Liberation War would not have been won. As you can see, they all have different facets. Knowing each one will bring us closer to the truth behind the traitors. Maybe do some Sun Rankagara. Some Tit Ninjas. <laughs> empowering being a tit ninja. Soul suggests that we pay attention to the people. Measure their enthusiasm for the can't read the rest of it. Give me a second. The war. <laughs> <laughs> I should have gotten this on PlayStation. I'm not even going to bother reading these because I can't see all of them. Fuck it. Talk to the people living in Jutland's capital and listen to what the squad mates have to say. Press A to speak with a character. Hey soldier, take a look see. Let me. I'd love to. Open up. Gather up to date information on Jutland's state of affairs by reading the newspaper sold in the promenade. That's how you say it, right? Press A to read a headline. See what the newspapers have to say. Jutland reclaims Malta. Songs of victory echo. Nice. Nice. That's fun. I'm rooting for you. Story. Then we're gonna hold off on talking to you and look around this environment some more. Yeah. I should soak up a little more public opinion. So let's reset my position entirely. Hmm. Okay then. Okay. 
Okay, I guess that was the story. Street Thunder's Lion, Elsinore's Promenade. Available merchandise may vary over time. The anti Valkyria Squad's actions in the state of the war effort can alter prices and supplies. I'll cut you this down on my. What the fuck are those? Rotten onion. Lotus bulb thing. Yo, what's up? I'm sure that's not the only what's reason up? I come up to you. Welcome. Yo, Ryuji, what's up? <laughs> He's written exactly like that character, too. That doesn't help. Mm -hmm. What is it? Welcome. <sighs> what do you have? All right. Have a good one. Come on in. Anytime. I love this environment, I have to say. I'm always a fan of it. Girl talk! Let's go have some girl talk. Hey, Captain. Good day to you. Need something? <laughs> My word. That right. 
pardon? Of course. Garlic and celery and cake. Come on. <sighs> don't know what that means. Good day to you. Good day to you too. Welcome. Okay. So this Come woman again. sells spells. Spell seller. Yeah. I'm not done soaking up that opinion. Yeah. Right, there's a bunch of free stuff that was What's downloaded. What's the matter? So terribly sorry. Well done. I'll just accept all of it. I 
I think it also, um, came with a bunch of, like, DLC missions and stuff for free. Oh. No! Fuck. What's the matter? Apologies. All right. Yeah. Yes, exactly. I wonder if Attack on Titan, if I buy it on PS4, if, I can, if it also is then on Yo. available for my Vita, or if I have to buy that separately. I was tempted to pick that up on my Vita, I have to say. <laughs> so it wasn't on sale. Hell yeah! Seems a lot better. Pretty good, yeah. RPGs. <sighs> and definitely should have started this earlier in the day. the same thing. Oh, okay, now I see it now. Alright, so it shows all of my abilities and who already has them equipped. I've only been in like one fucking battle. I've got no idea what I'm doing here. I'm not see touching ya. anything.
you know, I'm thinking I'm going to save it and jump on the PS4. Because it's a lot to take in. I'm being overwhelmed. And it's too late at night for me to be learning this shit. There's no way I'm going to remember it. So, yeah, I'm going to load up some Cinnaron Kagura. So stay tuned. That should be up in uh, five to ten minutes or something like that. However long it takes this shit to figure out what it's doing. So, see you back here in a bit. <laughs>